Hey guys, it's Heather from the TEC at Ori Georgetown Technical College. And in this video, we're going to go over the discussion board in Desire to Learn 10.0, excuse me, 10.1. And as you can see, I've already logged into my course and I'm on the discussion board page. The link for the discussion board will be located under the assignments drop down list and then discussions. So the discussion board has been revamped to make it more clear on what a topic is and what a forum is. And you can quickly see how many people have posted, what you have read, what you haven't read, and when that last post was done. So um, to begin with, we're going to create a new forum. And what a forum is, is it's just the heading or grouping of your topics where the students will actually post to. So to create a new forum, if you click on the new button and then click on new forum, it will open up a window so you can create the new forum. And at the very least, you just have to give the forum a title. And this one is going to be titled Group Discussion. You can enter a description here. Um, or within, uh, I can't type today. Groups. You can also set the availability and visibility locking of the forum, but at the very we're just going to enter that little bit right there and then we want to create a new topic in this forum with the same title and come down here and click save and close. So what that's going to do is it's going to create our new forum which will be listed down here at the bottom and it went ahead and created us a topic under the forum. So if we hide the topic and just to show you, so I'm going to hide all the topics. And so we have three forums now, and the forum is, again, just to simply, it's simply a, a grouping or a heading that the topics will live under. With the topics hidden, you can see that you have, under the general forum, one unread post, three total posts, and two topics. And then same under weekly discussions and general discussion. It tells you how many topics, how many posts you have unread, and how many total there are. So that's how you create a new forum. We want to create a, a new topic. We can click on new topic here by choosing the new button. You need to choose the forum you want that topic to go under. We're going to create a new topic under weekly discussions. And this one we're going to call unit 3. So we're creating a new topic. And the topic is where the students go to actually post. Um, if you're going to set locking and restrictions, availability restrictions, this is where you would do it on the topic. And the reason is because um, if you hide or lock the topic, then the student will not be able to post to it outside of the date and time restrictions. So the difference between availability of visibility and locking options is that the visibility date means that during this time it's only going to be visible in between these two date and times. So if we set this to here. <clears throat> so I've just said, okay, between the 19th and the 25th I want this topic to be visible. And what that means is the student will see it in between those two dates, they'll be able to post to it, but outside of that time, it completely disappears from their view, so they will not be able to go back in the future and see what was posted. The other option you have down here is locking, and if you choose to unlock a topic for a specific date range, that means that during this time period, and we'll just um, do the same time and dates, during this week, 
the topic will be unlocked so the student can go post to it and um, display in calendar. And I'm actually going to make it always visible. So this is probably the, the preferred method, making the topic visible so they can always see it, but only unlocking it during the time that you want them to post to it. And that's what I've done here. So now let's save and close. And we're going to expand um, the weekly discussions because that's where we just created our, our third topic. So here's our unit three topic we just created. And it, set, it tells me that it will be unlocked between this date and time. Um, and there's zero posts and views and stuff on there now. Now if you noticed, week one has a little icon here that is not on week two and unit three. Um, what that means is I've set week one up to be able to be a graded uh, discussion. And if you want to go in and edit a topic that's already created or even a discussion board, I mean, excuse me, a forum that's already created, you just choose the action menu and then you can do edit forum or edit topic. And we're going to edit this topic so I can show you that gradebook link. So here's my topic page with the locking setup. And if we go to um, restrictions, this actually shows release conditions and group restrictions. So if you have groups set up, you can restrict this topic to just that group. Uh, release conditions means that you can set it up and say if they haven't submitted this assignment yet, they can't see this topic. Um, this is kind of an advanced feature and you have to be careful setting up release conditions in the system because you could create a loop that would essentially keep the student from being able to do anything. So if you want to set up release conditions, we usually suggest you take time to plan it out on paper or meet with one of us and make sure you're not locking somebody out of something by setting up a round uh, circled release condition. Um, assessment is going to allow you to set up the gradebook link, which allows you to grade the topic. And you can see under assessment, I've already linked it to my week one under the gradebook and set a score of 100. And then um, you can set to assess each message and automatically calculate the topic score. So if you have them post multiple times, you can check this box and then um, have it average the message score from all of their topics, all of their posts, or just take the maximum score or the minimum score depending on how you're grading. Um, if you leave that off, then they just get one score for the overall topic. And then you can save that. Objectives will link back to your rubrics or competencies if you have those set up, and I don't have any set up in this course, but um, you do have the ability to set up your rubrics and competencies now, and then you can link them to your discussion posts. If you want to grade this topic, you have a couple of ways to do it. Under the edit topic page, you can click on assess topic, and that opens up a window where you can go and grade the students' responses. Okay. And you can see here, um, I've already added a grade for this student, but um, if I wanted to give the, these students a grade, I can click on the topic score for that student. And... go ahead and type in their score. And then if I want to publish it to the gradebook, I need to be sure I'm checking published and any feedback I want to give. Um, grading it this way does not give you the ones that they've posted to. Let me just go see. Don't see. I'll click on this one. It just tells me how many messages have been posted. It doesn't say, it doesn't show me what they posted. So if you actually want to read what they've posted before giving them a grade, uh, this is not 
where you need to go, but you can quickly see how many times they've posted if you go this way. To Let's go back to the main discussions page. And um, if I click on week one, it will open up that topic so I can see the students' posts here. And if I click on the students' post, it shows me what they wrote. And then here I can choose assess to grade that student's posting. And there's my, my grade from before. So um, that is how you create a new topic and mod forum, how you grade the topic, and how you edit and set date and restrictions. So as usual, if you have any other questions, you can always contact us in the TEC. We are always here to help. Have a great day.